I'm Sandy. And I'm Crystal. And, and we're, we're the, the Casserole, casserole Queens. Queens. Very excited because we have the first strawberries of the season today. <laughs> so fun. They're so bright and great, and this is the best time of year. Today, we're gonna be making our strawberry banana bread. We're gonna split up here. You're going dry ingredients. I'm gonna do wet. All right, get over there. <laughs> <laughs> We're just gonna take two really ripe bananas. We want about a cup of mashed bananas and we want to mash them so they get really incorporated into our cake. You don't want any chunks of bananas. You just want that nice banana flavor throughout. Three cups of flour. Incorporate all those dry ingredients. Add our spices. Two teaspoons of cinnamon. A teaspoon of nutmeg, but I've got to grate it. A half a teaspoon of salt. A teaspoon of baking soda. Four eggs. Just crack those bad boys in there. A cup and a half of sugar. Because everything's better with sugar. A cup of vegetable oil. This is going to add a lot of moisture to it. It's not going to impart any flavor. It's just vegetable oil. It's a really, really great oil to be baking with. And then next we're going to add vanilla. We're going to do about a tablespoon. I'm not going to measure this because that's how I roll. Zest of a lemon, you want about a tablespoon of that. Don't get into the uh, to the white part here because that's the pith and it just tastes pretty bitter. And there's no bitterness in baking. No bitterness no, in baking, y'all. we might have to measure, but we're not bitter. Scrambling up the eggs, you know, making sure that those are nice and incorporated with the sugar. We want the sugar to start to dissolve a bit and also get all the oil incorporated into that. Time for the strawberries. Take the tops off of these. Now we're gonna chop the nuts. And a cup and a half of walnuts. Just run a knife through it. You're not looking for small pieces. You just want it to have body and crunch all over. Time to incorporate. Wet to dry. Mmm. Looks like honey bean incorporated. It smells so citrusy. Time for the nuts, the goodiness. Mmm, come on. Now the strawberries. Mmm. Bananas. The secret ingredient for smoothness and texture. And overall flavor. I think we're ready to pour. Let's do it. And this dish has just already been prepared with some oil, vegetable oil, like we use in our recipe, and some flour, just so we don't have the cake stick. Yeah. This is gonna go into a... 350 oven for 40 minutes. Well, look at you. I know. Look at that. <laughs> now is a quick test. Take a toothpick right into the center, the, the biggest part of it, and see that it comes out clean. And you did. win. I win. <laughs> now we're just going to start our super simple icing. It's really just two ingredients. We're going to take powdered sugar and some lemon juice. This is a very forgiving icing. I mean, <laughs> if it's too thick, just add more juice. Too thin, add, add more, more sugar. sugar. <laughs> that looks beautiful. Nice right. and thinned out. Really, really lovely. And then this has just been cooling for a little bit, but we want to do it while it's still warm. Yeah. Want it to get all soaked in. That's a great one. You just slice it up. Mm. Oh, yeah. Aww. Look at that. A little slice of heaven. Yeah. <laughs> okay, there's one for you. Thank you. And now I get to make me one. Mm. And the strawberries have just really been incorporated all throughout. They haven't sunk to the bottom. It's really nice texture with yep. the nuts. Beautiful in there. Mmm. I got a great hunk of walnut right there. Mm -hmm. And the sweetness of the lemon, super moist. Mm -hmm. Our favorite word in the kitchen. Mm -hmm. Really, really good, but it has a lot of body. It does have a lot of body. And it holds together nicely. Recipe for this one's below. Be sure and subscribe to Hungry and get in there and get all those great recipes. We're making some fun stuff for you. Yeah, and the way we're going through this, you're gonna need to get in there soon and get this recipe because it's gonna be all gone. It's gonna be gone. <laughs>